Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back. Well, Josh, you said you we should be seeing some rain soon, but I know on the East Coast it's a lot worse than it is here. Yeah, it's a lot worse. And we could be seeing rain tomorrow. We saw a little bit today, but you need to look at Florence on radar because it's just been sitting there. This is how far it's moved in the last 12 hours, just continuing to stream all of that extremely heavy rain over portions of the Carolinas. And in the last 12 hours, it's only moved, it hasn't even moved 200 miles. That's that's absolutely ridiculous, moving about three to five miles per hour. And in the last 48 hours, there's plenty of spots that have seen close to 15 inches of rain out of this system. So a lot of flooding still going on, and there's still a lot more on the way. Here's the latest on Florence. We're going to go ahead and knock this out of the way before we talk about your forecast coming up in just a bit. 15 miles west-northwest of Myrtle Beach, winds at 65 miles per hour, moving west-southwest at five. That's the speed that Harvey was moving as it made landfall in Texas last year, and you remember how much rain that made. Saturday by 7 p.m. is finally starting to get up towards Columbia. South Carolina and then picking up, but that slow movement is going to bring a lot more rain to the Carolinas. We're talking about those rain totals in addition to what they already had, getting another potentially 15 to 20 inches of rain. Lots of rain there. A little bit of rain here, though, as we got into today. Here's where the showers are right now. They're way off to our east, but all of that activity will be here as we go into tomorrow. In the last 12 hours here across the Concha Valley, had a few of those showers working in. They kind of waned as we went into sunset, but in the afternoon, you picked up some pretty good showers, especially east of San Angelo. That's where some of you even got close to an inch there, south of Melvin and then also towards Mason. Tomorrow's when we have our better chance of rain. And it's thanks to this system down here that's entering the Gulf, currently there towards Corpus Christi. It's going to track into northern Mexico, and that means all of that moisture associated with it is working our way as we get into tomorrow. So some good rain chances on the way for tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy and humid tonight. Most of those showers hang off until tomorrow. Scattered showers Saturday, and then we're watching the first fall front as we go later on into next week. Look at the time lapse because as we went on through the evening, we had a pretty good shower move over the city. There's the view looking off to the west. Around 745, a pretty good shower went through. And if you were looking to the east when that shower came through, you got a glimpse of a rainbow. Our producer, Landon Lowe, got this shot of the rainbow here in San Angelo on the north side. And you can see the rainbow there. A lot of you sent in photos, and we always encourage you to send in photos to, K to the KCM Facebook page. We'd love to share them. And you may have a shot at a few more of these tomorrow. 86 was our high today. Normally, it should be at 88. Record was 104 and 49 in 1945. Temperatures right now are pretty nice, though. They're in the 70s, and those dew points, they're unfortunately not far from the 70s. That means it's going to be feeling humid, not only tonight, but also into tomorrow. And we'll start off tomorrow in pr pretty much where we are now in those low 70s. Showers starting to scoot over as we go through the overnight hours, I think. And then as we get into the day tomorrow, those scattered showers becoming more numerous. 10.30 a.m., a few showers there down towards our eastern counties, and all of that moisture just sending multiple rounds of some of these off-and-on heavy showers hours, and there couldn't even be a light rain that accompanies it for a little bit. It's going to remain cloudy through the whole day, and then Sunday, potentially another shot of rain, especially if you live off to the west and south of San Angelo. It all depends where the track of that low goes. If you saw real quickly, that was the center of the low going over our western counties. If that happens, it could be a very wet Sunday for those of you mainly off to the southwest of San Angelo. So for tonight, we're going to see those temperatures fall down to 68. Real quick, I want to show you how much rain you could get over the next few days, potentially adding on one to two inches of rain just from the activity that we're going to see this weekend. Tonight, though, down to 68. A few thunderstorms, staying cloudy and humid. I got about a 40% chance of rain. And then for your Saturday, climbing up to only 80 degrees. We may stay in the 70s all day. Lots of events going on tomorrow. Of course, Ram Jam. We've got Riverfest. We've got the 5K being run tomorrow and a bunch of other stuff going on. If you're going out to any of those activities, don't cancel your plans, but take an umbrella and a jacket because it could be pretty wet. High of 80 and a 70% chance of storms. Look at your extended forecast because that chance of rain hangs on into Sunday. Right now, I've got a 40% chance. We'll check in with Chris Ramirez tomorrow and see if that chance goes up on Sunday. If that track comes closer to us, we'll probably raise those rain chances up to about 60%. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look dry. Thursday and Friday, our first fall front comes in. We're watching it very closely because any of those, whenever that first fall front comes in, we usually see some strong storms. Mm -hmm. And there is the potential, looking at the models right now, that one or two of those storms could be strong on Thursday. We're watching it very closely. Not calling for severe weather yet, but stay tuned. We'll keep an eye on it. All right, and it's really good that those storms are coming in because we've been in a drought for a while now. We've been in a drought. We're getting out of it slowly now. It's, I hesitate to say we're ever out of it because West Texas is kind of a perpetual drought. Kind but, of just happens. But, yeah, we're seeing a lot of help with the lakes, and this rain will help too. Definitely. Well, thank you, Josh. Coming up later in the show, a man awaiting trial in the murder of a Wisconsin woman is accused of another crime.